I think for a lot of potential buyers, the real battle wasn't just speed, it was refinement. People complained the older Model Y could feel a bit harsh, a bit bumpy, especially on Aussie roads. So this new adaptive suspension, that sounds like the big news here. Oh, absolutely. This is probably the most significant upgrade for everyday driving. The handling dynamics are seriously reworked. You've got this adaptive suspension now with standard, sport, and even track settings. Plus, they've updated the chassis hardware, new springs, stabilizer bars, different geometry, and you can tweak the stability assist to standard, reduced, or fully off. So you can actually tailor the ride now. That's good. And does it feel more refined, less noise, less vibration? Yeah, the NVH noise, vibration, harshness is reportedly much better. They've used acoustic class, which helps quieten things down inside, makes it feel more um, cocooned. And crucially, despite all that power, the range is still pretty impressive. The official WLTP figure is 580 kilometers. 580. Wow. Okay. How does that compare to the long range? It's only about 12 kilometers less. So, yeah, efficiency is still a major Tesla strength, even on their performance model.